Art has a way of uniting people in ways that can't be seen anywhere else in life. Every artwork has a million interpretations, each unique to everyone that views them, and I believe there's power in that. It's this human condition that inevitably chains us to art and ourselves that makes us as complex as we are. And it's this theme that I wanted to explore in my works of art. More specifically, the relationship humans have with isolation and how we are never truly alone, but rather connected from birth by nature. And despite all of them sharing a similar core theme, they all embark upon different ideas and stories that when coupled together, provide a greater understanding of the theme at hand. There are several ways in which I connected my artworks other than the central theme that drove the creation of all of them. The first one being my personal style that is present regardless of the medium I'm mutilizing. And there are several reoccurring elements in my works that pave the way for that style that arises out of what stands out of me, such as nature. This is represented throughout the use of clouds and circular shapes in my works, such as hair or smoke, that is meant to symbolize freedom. Having round objects also makes the work more alluring and welcoming to the viewer rather than if it had sharp, straight lines because I want people to indulge in the work itself. And another very common element is the use of the human body, specifically the face. It was one of the first things that originally drew my attention into making art and continues to inspire and challenge me to this day. In this set of artworks, however, I have chosen to portray them in ways outside of my comfort zone by showing them in discomfort, showing no emotions at all or being hidden partially from view. This is meant to connect with viewers as they portray themselves in the work and show that sense of mystery and isolation that originally inspired my artworks. The materials were also carefully chosen in, due to the way they changed the viewer's perception of the artwork. While pastels may give it a softer look, other materials such as color, pencils, and graphite may give it a harsher look. I wanted to experiment with how this changed the outcome of the artworks and how people interpreted said artworks and made sure to choose the right material for the right artwork. And in the end, I wanted the viewer that can be able to step back, step back and look at the collection and see through, through the various materials, stories, and subjects depicted and manage to get a larger understanding of my view of the human condition and how it relates to an ever-growing isolation we feel inside.